Hey drummers, I'm Jim Lindsner along with Danusha Beats and today we've got one for the double bass drummers. But even if you don't play double bass, <laughs> come to think of it, even if you don't play drums, there's a couple of concepts here that should appeal to anyone that likes out of the box rhythms. What we're going to do is we're going to check out a four measure solo that Greg Bissonette played on the song Aggressive Tranquility. Here it is. Kind of a mind bender, right? Okay, well it's just two licks. And the first lick is just a six note pattern that repeats over and over again. Right, left, left, bass, bass, bass. Okay, right, left, left, bass, bass, bass. Right, left, left, bass, bass, bass. Now, as far as the feet go, um, I like to play right, left, right, but some drummers prefer right, right, left. As a matter of fact, I think that's what Greg Bissonette prefers from watching some of his videos. Uh, really doesn't matter what footing you use, so long as all the notes are even both rhythmically and dynamically. What I suggest you do is play this very slowly at first and gradually speed it up. Here's an example. Okay, once you have the pattern up to speed, the next step is playing it in time. And playing it in time is pretty easy because it's played at sextuplet speed, which means six notes per count. So you're going to play one six note pattern per count. No big deal, right? Then you're going to play the orchestration Greg Bissonette did, which is just moving the right hand, okay? And the right hand's going to move like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Snare drum, floor tom, small tom, snare drum, floor tom, small tom, snare drum, floor tom. Okay, I'll play it right now, a little bit slower, and then up to tempo. Okay, cool. So you got the first half of the solo down. Now let's check out the second half. The second lick is the mind bender. Okay, but we're gonna start from a simpler place. If you count a measure of triplets in 4-4, four, four, it sounds like this. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Or one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's four groups of three. It's 12 notes total, okay? It's possible to group those notes in other ways. So what we're going to do is we're going to play three groups of four notes, okay? And our four note grouping is going to be snare drum, small tom, floor tom, bass drum, okay? So let's do a two measure exercise and the two measure exercise is going to be this. One measure of triplets just on the snare drum and then playing our new four note group three times, okay? So it's a two measure exercise and it's always the same speed. And it's imperative that you count this in your mind throughout. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Because our brains hear four note patterns as one iana, two iana. And it's very easy to get tricked into thinking you're playing one iana, two iana. Okay, so really count in your head. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Here it is. Now what we're going to do is in the spot where we were playing one bass drum note with the right foot, we're going to play two bass drum notes right left. Sounds like this. And finally, we're going to do it the way Greg Bissonette did. And that is, 
in the spot where there was one bass drum note, now there's going to be three bass drum notes. Okay? And if you wanted to practice this a little out of time first, you could play it like this. One, two, three, four triplet. One, two, three, four triplet. Once you're comfortable with the pattern, then apply it to our two measure exercise. Here it is. All right, now you've got the whole pattern. We can put it all together. I'll play it a little bit under tempo and then I'll play it at the tempo of the recording. So that right there is my favorite Greg Bissonette double bass lick. And like I mentioned before, it comes from the song Aggressive Tranquility, which is by Brandon Fields, great jazz sax player. And the recording is called The Other Side of the Story. And if you're at all into late 80s jazz fusion, I totally suggest you check this out because it's a great recording and Bissonette just plays his butt off throughout. There's one track in particular called The Brain Dance and uh, Greg plays a solo that's just unbelievable one of my favorite drum solos of all time I also wanted to mention I wrote a book it's called getting real with double bass and the premise of this book is pretty much that you don't have to have unbelievable double bass chops in order to incorporate double bass into your grooves and fills so if you're into it go to my website drumlessonsbuffalo.com or you can pick up a copy at Buffalo Drum Outlet I'm Jim Linsner thanks for watching we'll see you next time